Right, this is a staircase which needs to be renewed because of, to the dog basically, but the carpet is renewing. So this is, this is the ball nose, this part of the bottom, then we've got individual steps. We'll count the steps. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's twelve stairs plus the ball nose. We'll go into measurements in a minute and I'll show you the landing as, as an idea. Okay, so this is the landing we've got here. Okay, so notice obviously this part here is longer than this part here here because that goes over. So we'll have some stairs left over from that, from this land that's done and possibly a bit from this cupboard, but we'll see. Um, measurements are coming next and then I'll show you the graphs, how to put it to paper. Right, so this is how we measure the ball nose. Tape measure, obviously. Right to the end, I mean to that type point it says 900, so we'd go a metre. Because you have to bear in mind that this flaps over and underneath and you need some excess play for the carpet fitter or yourselves to, to cut and tuck it in. You also need a bit for the wrap at the bottom. Um, so that is so 200 millimetres. And on yet again on that one, we'd have to go a metre as well. Because that is nine, so we'd go to that. And yes, a metre, that's a 1.1. A metre cuts it tight, so we'd go 1.1 essentially. Second step we'll measure. You go from the back of it, the back of the step, that measures 810 millimetres. And the front measures 809. And this step measures 807 millimetres. And that also measures one meter and 12 at the front. So there's slight different variations, as you, as you know, right? So I'll, I'll explain this in a minute because we round up to the nearest 100 millimeters. You have to measure from the front to the back. So over the top of the tread, down to the bottom of the riser. This is measuring 415 millimeters. So we'd allow 500 straight away for that one. 450 may be at a tight push, but ideally 500 millimetres and uh, and that's how we do do them ones as such but just remember the tread and riser plus that an average staircase will measure six metres in a carpet plan because you allow one metre width and you allow 500 millimetres for each step on an average plan now the reason you measure tight initially is because if you have an off cut and it measures 900 millimetres width you can you can make do with it but ideally you go for a meter by 500 each step it has to be a little bit tighter to find but always do allow extra right now we have the landing so we measure from the doorway and remember this is one people think always forget about the carpet overlaps here right so I bet you have to allow the carpet plus the riser and that is 1.2 tight for me, 1 metre 200. Then, on this part, we measure the whole width down to here. And that is 2.6. Then, we measure this point, the width from there to there, which is 970, but we'll allow a metre. Then, we'll measure the width for the staircase there. So we will allow a metre. Then we'll measure this separate part individually. What we need, even though we've done this whole measurement, we still need this measurement as well, okay? And this is another 900 millimetres. And then we'll measure this bit too. And that's another 900 millimetres. And then we'll measure from this point to this point, which is longer. And that is 2.1, okay? Now bear with me and I'll show you how to plan the measurements out on, on a piece of paper, okay? So you can take it to your local carpet store, 
This is only if you can't get a fit around. Other fitting videos will be available. Right guys, right now, now, now obviously you've seen how to measure the stairs and I've shown you how to do them. Um, these are the measurements I've had, obviously, and this is a rough outline of a landing. Um, I was doing this as I went along measuring, um, which didn't show you, but you, you'll see by the video so far how, how you know the layout. So you do a rough little diagram of the, of the areas. So this is a landing. Um, then it's 12 steps, as you know, plus the ball nose, which I put B in. And, and and that's this part. Now the next part is obviously to translate this into a, a, um, a format where you can see the carpet plan. Now, not all, most carpets will, in, in shops, come at four metres, right? So we'll do a line, roughly. I mean, if you've got graph paper you want to do it at the scale, fine, but I'm just showing you a rough, a rough diagram. So that's four metres. I mean, you can get rolls in five, but essentially it always comes off four metres, okay? And uh, so, so you do your four meters, okay? And then we'll I'll put a couple of lines down for a second, so it's something to work with. So essentially, here I have two points, two point six. Um, so I'm gonna go two point eight on that one. Um, so two point eight, so roughly about here. So that's two point eight that bit to that bit, and then go down, and we got. 2.5, so we'll have to go 2.150. So that's 2.150. So, so I, I, if you keep in mind to add 100 millimeters on on every measurement, and either size sometimes, especially like this, it's good to add on 200 mil if you can, because there'll be a little overlap either side, and it helps the fitter to, to cut in either side. Like this part, obviously, you need overlap because bear in mind that part bends over the ball nose, yeah. You know, so, so it hits the rise or two, okay? So we've got 2150 there, okay. Um, the measurement we had from there to there was 900 mil, so we go a meter. So one meter. Uh, then we have, um, that part's just 900. But if we go 1200 this way first, we go 1200. 1200, okay. Um, one meter so we're not going to have any stairs we're not going to have any stairs come out this bit because you can't turn a piece of carpet to the side because the pile direction would look a different color um i'll, I'll have that in my other videos and there's many more flooring videos and well many do loads of videos to upcoming and you'll see them all and and the reason behind pole direction well many many things okay um please do like and subscribe to this channel by the way please because there's so much information i'll be able to show you over time Okay, so back back to this. Sorry, right. So, yeah, so, so we go from there. We go, we go straight across to there, to there. So we've got twelve hundred there, and then two one fifty on this point, right? So the excess length from this part we have uh, minus. So we've got eight. No, sorry, nine fifty. Nine fifty excess, which will be enough for two steps. And on this bit to here, because we've cut it off short, we'll have. Hang on. Yeah, so 900. So, yeah, so we've got literally enough for four steps there. So, two steps there and two steps. Okay. Right. This part here, because bearing in mind, this, this, when I'm saying the steps, we've got 12 steps. So, yes, they're 420 overlap that way. Okay, and they're at 18 wide. And you do normally allow me to, like I say, but for cutting plans, you can go slightly different. I.e., this bit will be 900 and 900 for two steps, but it's got it's got, it's got plenty of overhang. Right, <coughs> sorry, bear with me. Okay, so we've got that, so we've got two steps. So we still need to find eight more steps now. So we've done that, so we've got to find eight more steps. Okay, now we hit 2.8 from there from a four meter width, okay which is going to leave 1.2, which is plenty width for, for a stair, isn't it? We, we know that, so that's fine. So uh, essentially what I would do first of all on this part, I would try and find the ball nose, so we'd go a metre by 1.2. So that's the ball nose done at one, at one metre, okay? 
and there's plenty of plenty of uh, of room for the ball nose because you do need to allow access for the ball nose because they are they are you know um, fiddly to cut and you need to get the direction right. Okay, so that leaves me um, after a meter. That leaves me one meter one fifty. So that's another another two steps there. Okay. So all we now have to find, so we've got six. We've got to find six more steps. Okay. So bear in mind, so far, I mean, I know this point's here, but bear in mind, so far, the cut length is two one fifty. So so far up to here. So we do know to, need to go a little bit further to find the last six steps. And I'll say you allow five hundred each. So what we'd have to do here, um, two, four, six. Yeah, we'd have to go one more metre, basically, um, this way, one, one metre, and we get another two steps there. So essentially now when you cut on that piece now in the shops, that bit wouldn't be there, that'd be four steps, yeah? Do you follow? Right, so we've got another two steps there, and another two steps there, okay? And that that is literally, Gonna be it'd be that, and that'd be a bit of excess waste in case you need a little bit. But that is essentially how you'd work out. So, so the actual length of this cut of carpet from that landing we want. So we'd want a three point one fifty by four. Okay, that is is that, and that is gonna be uh, four eight twelve. Uh, twelve point three, uh, basically twelve and a half, twelve and a half square meters. So as we're looking at something at ten pound a meter, yeah, or ten dollars if you're in America, right? You know that's going to be one hundred and twenty pound fifty. Okay, to give you an idea of the price of the carpet, then you can work out the underlay from there. If the underlay is a five or a meter. Or five dollars or whatever you can work it out from there you know that's another 60 or 60 dollars 60 your pound you can make it slightly tighter but in this instance it wouldn't really be worth it that'd be your best cut size for the best job the carpet fits are on site we'll, we will cut it tighter 100 percent because obviously they, they need to up and eat in this but initially when they're cutting in the warehouse to bring it to site to your doorstep this is what they will they will be cutting up and, and bringing and if you went into any flooring store with a diagram like this and knowing a cut size, they can do it for you and they'll work it out from there. Um, but yeah, please like, subscribe to my channel, guys. I've got so much more to show you. I'll be showing you fitting on many products and, and other stuff I do in, in DIY in general as well and recycling stuff, you know. Uh, baby products to come to and a lot of stuff. But anyway, guys, bless you. Take care.